The first thing you want to do is go to your email and click on Adobe In Context Editing Invitation to use Adobe In Context. Click on the link to accept the invitation. Click create new account in the lower left corner. Insert your first name, last name, email, password, and confirm your password. Click the first checkbox because you have to accept the terms. Uncheck the second one if you don't want to get the emails. Select your country and type in the letters that you see in the box below. Click create account. Now you need to check your inbox email before you continue to verify the email that uh, you just put in. Open up your inbox and verify your email address by clicking the link. Your email address has now been verified. Click OK. Now you can log in using the username and password that you just set up. Type in your email address and your password. You can click Remember Me if you don't want to keep on putting in your email address. You'll just have to type in your password. Now it just tells you that you have been added as a publisher. Click OK. The next section is for the next time you want to edit your site. Go to www.incontextediting.adobe.com. Log in using your email and your password. And click sign in. Now go to the left side of the screen and click Manage Sites. Click on the name of the email or of the website. The website will load. Sometimes it takes a few minutes and then once it does it'll take you to your index page your original home page to begin put in your email and your password you can click remember me here also and click sign in after it loads your index page or your home page it'll take you to the page that is going to be edited by you The next part is about editing your page. Click Edit Page on the top right hand corner. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see three buttons, a T, a blue square, and a link. T is for editing text. Click on that. When you want to change uh, text and whatever formatting changes is available will be on that same toolbar at the top of the page. You can change any text that you want that is editable. 
You can change pictures by clicking on the blue square that's next to the T at the top toolbar. To the right of that box, you'll see a section that says Media Location, and there's a drop down menu that has My Site, the Internet, or My Computer. You can choose the location of where your pictures are stored and find the picture that you want to replace or add into your website. If you have Windows, you can resize the thumbnails in your uh, document box by choosing the little icon that has a pull down menu and choose extra large icons or large icons and to make the window a full screen so you can see more of your images just double click the top of the box Choose your image by double clicking or selecting update. When you're finished with your images you are in all of your editing, you can click done. When the box pops up, save changes. And when you're completely finished, you can scroll through your page and then click on the right hand corner of the page, publish draft and publish when the next box pops up. When you're done, you can sign out and it will take you to the page that you just finished editing. Now you can see that all of your updates have been published to the internet and everyone can see them. You have just finished editing your website. And there's your changes.